congrats to Siwoo Kim, our final champ of the regular season here on the PGA Tour. The 21-year-old notched his first PGA Tour victory at the Wyndham Championship. The win bumps him up to 15th on the FedEx Cup standings as we head into the playoffs. What's almost as fun as winning? A hole-in-one, maybe, but what about four aces? That's right, we had four holes-in-one this weekend at Sedgefield Country Club. The odds of a pro making an ace on tour, 2,500 to one. Evidently not this weekend. Luke Donald started the Ace Fest, winning a lifetime's worth of free vacations, courtesy of Wyndham. Hey Luke, if you need somebody to help you with that, I'd be happy to take a trip to Hawaii or something off your hands, just saying. Luke let us off, but Scott Brown ended things on a bang. We all know the odds of making an ace for us amateurs is pretty low, 12,500 to one. But what about the odds of making the first and last ace of the regular season? Well, Scott Brown did just that on Sunday, but I'm not done yet. Brown made an ace on the same hole during the same round of the same tournament last year. We're going to have to enlist the odds makers in Vegas to figure that one out for us. Now if you're like me and holes in one aren't a regular part of your game, this group on Sunday at the web.com tour may be more up your alley. Behold, the best grouping of all time. You can't make this up. Jared Hag, Adam Shank, and Ryan Yip were grouped together in the final round at the new Sentinel Open presented by Pilot on the web.com tour this weekend. Jason Sobel had the best caption, quote, when you have to describe your game in three words. You read my mind, Jason, my thoughts exactly. If your game falls under any of those categories, look no further than the pub. Yep, that's right, Andrew Beef Johnston continues to entertain us all. Giving lessons at the 19th hole this week. After that, he headed to the London Wing Fest to top it all off. We love you, Beef. And we also love it when other celebrities get involved with the game. Alyssa Milano, yes, your childhood crush Alyssa Milano, gave us a shout out on Twitter showing off her son's skills. And just in time for the start of football season, Steelers wide receiver Antonio Brown was hanging out with Arnold Palmer himself. Is that a half empty Arnold Palmer in Antonio's hand I see? Because that would most definitely make the moment that much sweeter. I also want to give a big shout out to the women's golf Olympic medalist. Congrats to MB Park who took the gold for South Korea along with Lydia Ko and Shane Shane Fang who took silver and bronze respectively. Golf in the Olympics was a blast. Very cool to see the world number one signing the medalist book for New Zealand. And we saw Ricky Fowler and the rest of Team USA hanging out with Michael Phelps and co at the pool. While Lexi Thompson was also hanging out with the swim stars. Here she is with gold medalist Katie Ledecky. That will do it for this week's Trending on Tour. I'm heading off to Beth Page Black this week as we kick off the FedEx Cup playoffs. So follow along on social media and tune in to PGA Tour Live for all the coverage from the 2016 Barclays. In the meantime, you can catch John Swantek and I on Tuesday for your playoff preview. Have a great week.